We're being asked to find the equation of the hyperbola with the given vertices and the given asymptotes. Let's go ahead and do it. Solution. We'll start by drawing a picture. So there's the y-axis and there's the x-axis. So we have x and we have y. Let's go ahead and plot the vertices. So we have 0, 1, that's here. And 0, negative 1, that's here. So the vertices lie on the actual hyperbola. So the hyperbola is going to open up and down. Now we have some information about the asymptotes. So because the hyperbola opens up and down, the formula for the asymptotes is y equals plus or minus a over b times x minus h plus k, where the center hk is the center of the hyperbola. So in this case, h and k are both 0 because the center is right here. So the formula is just plus or minus a over b times x because h is 0 and because k is 0. So we have a already. a is the distance from the center to the hyperbola. So a is equal to 1. And we just need to find b. So what we'll do is we'll take the slope of one of our asymptotes, let's take this one, one third, and we'll set it equal to a over b. So one third is equal to a over b, right? Because that's the slope here, a over b. Now a is one, so we get one third equals one over b. We can cross multiply, and we end up with b equals three. So we have a, a was one from the picture, and we have b, and we have the center. In this case, the center is 0, 0. So we can go ahead and write the equation down for the hyperbola. So the formula for a hyperbola that opens up and down is y minus k quantity squared over a squared minus x minus h quantity squared over b squared equals 1. In this case, h and k are both 0, so we get y squared a squared was 1, so y squared over 1, minus h was 0, so x squared, and b is 3. So when you square b, you get b squared, which is 9. And this is equal to 1. So the final answer is y squared minus x squared over 9 equals 1. That's it. I hope this helps.